want that gift, children. I really want that gift, children. Shut up! Shut up! Okay. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! You are a woman. I married you. I paid for everything. You are supposed to give me a child. That was what I paid for. You want me to kill you? You want me to kill you? No, honey. You want me to kill you? Woman, where do you think you are going to? You want to run? Why are you calling me Barry? Is that it my fault I'm not able to give you children? That's exactly what you are. Are you not Barry? Can you give birth? I'm asking you. Oh, you want to leave your responsibilities and run away? I married you 100%. I'm not owing your people, and now you want to run the street. Come back here. I said, come back here. You want to run? Come here. Franka, come here. I said, come here. You want to run? Are you not barren? Come here. Come here. Are you not barren? Have you given me a child? Have you given me a child? You are wicked. I want me to kill you. No. Okay, I will kill you. Why haven't you given me a child? That's what I'm asking you. Why are you barren? 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 No, I will do this. You want to leave your responsibilities and go away. I don't know what's wrong. Why don't you give me a towel? Why don't you give me a towel? I will kill you. Then you will tell your spirit what. You see, Sister Franca, crying will not save the situation. You have to put yourself together. Pastor, for how long? For how long, Pastor? Have I not suffered enough? I'm a human being, don't forget. I have suffered enough. I am tired. Sister Franca, the Bible says affliction may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is nothing but for a matter of time. God sees you, and I know it will turn out for a testimony for you, Sister Franca. I just hope so. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Good things still happen For those who believe So don't you freak out In panic Your best days are coming You're beaten and battered Feel 
put up with fear But if you looked out, I know you'd see Your best days are coming When mercy speaks Obstacles are broken Protocols are broken When mercy speaks When mercy speaks Come back here Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Huh? A married woman Look at you You should be ashamed of yourself you're so stupid. Eh? Where are you coming from? Don't make me repeat myself. I... I, I went to... <laughs> hey. Listen to me. If I'm <laughs> here is my new wife-to-be. My mother brought her to me. You have to see and treat her as my wife. You must accord her all the respect she deserves. Did you hear me? Look at her face, yes. When you were busy. Sleeping from one man but to another. You out, didn't know that your womb was going to be destroyed. Your best days are you cannot coming. bear any child for my son because of when your waywardness. And my child has a fertile woman who is bearing children. Someone who is capable. Yes, since you couldn't do that. This ain't about to carry breast. Mm. You feel born. Mm. And one more thing. After here, you take your things, all your belongings, to the visitor's room. That's where you'll be staying. Oh, yes. She has taken over the bedroom. Supported. Okay? Is that clear? I love you, darling. I love you too. Come, let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> I'll see you later. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> you crocodile tears. You, you, you destroyed your womb. No more child in that womb. And you want to remain my son's wife. This is your nonsense. What are you still doing there? He said you should move your things to the boys' quarters. My son has some. Breath of fresh air. We are showing crocodile tears. We are to see a in No sense. Your pain is fading. The miracle will stay. So be on the lookout. Your best days are coming. When mercy speaks, obstacles are broken. Ah, what do you think you're doing? Mama, good morning. What do you think you're doing? Good morning, Ma. I'm trying to fix breakfast from the hospital. Which house that? What breakfast? I fell out of this place. No, no, I have to prepare breakfast for you so that I can. You eat. will not feed my son without your poison. To what happened? Get out. Mama. Still no poison, son. Why will I even poison my husband? Go away. Let me prepare breakfast, please. Go, go, go. Rock on. You freak out in panic. Your best days are coming. Your beauty is candy. Good morning, darling. Your future you are awake. Yes, I can see yourself. So be on a look yes, yes, I'm ready to go. Your best days are coming. Mm. 
Okay. I'll see you when I return. Bye. But your miracle will stay. So be on the lookout. Your best days are coming. Good morning, Mama. Yeah, good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Okay. I love your wife. Uh, it's fine. Oh, people have to oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Please sit down and have your breakfast. My breakfast? Why are you the one serving my breakfast? Where is Franca? Uh, um, um, I don't know. Or oh, maybe she's outside. Outside doing what? Mama, you can't be the one serving me breakfast. It's not right. Okay, it doesn't matter. Breakfast is breakfast. Please sit down and eat. Oh, no, mommy, no, I have to correct this. Franca! Franca! For it to be raining insults on me. Oh, it's too early, right? Okay, now give me one good reason. You had to allow my mother to serve me breakfast, and you are here doing what I don't know. I was going to do that, but he said I'm going to poison you. Will you shut up, you liar? Me? You know you're lying. Yes, you know you're lying. You know what? Mama, you are such a genius. <laughs> Trust me. Mm -hmm. I will so frustrate her. I will so deal with her that she will have no choice but to pack her things and leave my son's house. I trust you, Mama. I will teach you to learn not to give my mother nor my beloved wife before my choice to do in this house. <laughs> No for me. No bro. This is but unacceptable. It is not acceptable at all. How can you treat your wife with so much contempt? Like you suffer from a slave. She's your wife for crying out loud, bro. Come on. You don't seem to understand my plight. Of course I understand your plight. What other plight other than she has not given birth to a child? Yes. That's it. That's the point. We've been married for five good years and she has not even seen I understand. No, tell me, what's, what's that? Come on. Is that no, tell me, what's that? It's not enough for you to go marry another wife and bring home. You're not supposed to be listening to your mother like that. Like some form of a mommy's boy or something. Believe me, I'm, I'm loving that. You're loving bringing another woman in? You're loving that. I so much love you. Ha! My friend is gone. Want to hear? Bro, you are not okay. Obviously, I, I, I made I made a good decision for myself by marrying someone else. Of course, that will give me a child. You're not supposed to be sounding like this. You, you, you're making that woman feel less of herself. You're making her feel really bad, and I don't like it. Franca is your lawful wedded wife. 
You married her best. outrightly. My lawful wedded wife that cannot give birth. Your best days are coming. Oh, God. Your pain hey. is fading. But your miracle I don't know what you are hearing from. This is my decision. Your decision? Yes. Your best days are coming. I already carried it out. I'm living with my new wife. Peacefully. So, at the expense of your wife, your legally married so wife. Cool. Franca, of Does course. Does she have any bragging rights? Of course she does. She doesn't have any bragging rights. But you married her, you wedded her, everything. So after wedding, after marriage, what comes next? When my My snacks. It was a mistake. Really? How dare you? And I'm doing over and over again, you barren witch. You are mad. What? You slapped me. Yes, you slapped me. You're very, very stupid. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hey! Hey, what? Hey! Listen, bro. I am your friend, and you know I cannot deceive you. My final take on this matter is that you have to take back Franca as your wife. Bring her in, love her like you used to, bro. She's your lawful wedded wife, like I said before. Don't throw her away like this now. Please, you have to take her back. No. What? I've made my decision. You. My mother is calling me. Make the call. Hello, Mama. Leave her alone! Hello, get it! Come, come, come! You're fighting all your own! You're so rich, your mama wants to kill her, you wait! What? You want to kill her, you wait, leave her! Come! You're fighting! You're fighting! I will be there now. You push it up! Stop it! Bro, what up? Is there a problem? I have to get home immediately. Get home? Why? Yes. I hope all is well. I will tell you when I come. You will tell me? Yes. Do you mind if I come with no, you? No, don't worry. So be on the new card. Okay. Your best days are coming. Because be when mercy is peace. Hey, it's okay. My husband will soon be here. I've called him. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Oh, Kenneth. Thank God you're here. Thank God you're back. What Do you know that that witch that you call your wife almost killed her? What? Yes. She fought her. <laughs> she beat her up. It's not that I was dead. It's been a different story. It's okay. Are you alright? Just take a look at my face, what she did to me. Where is that idiot? She's in her room. Don't handle her, it's okay. Stop crying. Come on, the champ. So Where is she? Are you stupid? How dare you lay your filthy hands on my wife? No, I did not. She slapped me first. Oh, she slapped you first. Right? I'll Kay. kill you. I'll kill you. Kay. Kay. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Please let me stop killing Stop He's what? going to kill her. Stop what? Let him kill her. She deserves to die. Mama, no. No, Mama. I don't want her blood to be on my head, please. She deserves to die. Any tree that cannot bear fruit deserves to die. Let him kill her. Please. No, Mama. I will have to stop him now. I will have to stop him now. Are you witch? Eh? She cannot give my son a child, yet she still wants to remain in this house. Mama, me. She has to leave. Tell her. 
Didn't you hear your husband? We ran a loss, sir. Get down on your knees. Are you deaf? <laughs> Kneel and apologize now. I said, go down on your knees. Sorry. People Call her name and apologize properly. Fast! So don't you freak out. If I'm sorry. The earlier you begin to realize that you are a liability to us in this house, the better for you. You are good for nothing. The only thing you know how to do best is to eat my food and feed your boots. And I won't take it. You see, the next time you try this nonsense, you will see what I will do to you. Get out. You don't have any bragging rights and you are doing too much. I like how you handle the situation. It's okay. You're a man. You know? I'll try it next time. It's okay. It's okay. Well. Salo Guau. Your mom, Salo Guau. Your mom, Salo Guau. Your mom, Oh, I know my beer God, even if it's just one. Even if it's just one, <laughs> the shame is too much. The humiliation is too much. I am tired. Even if it's just one, I will be grateful. <laughs> Salam, your mommy. Salam, your mommy. Sister Franca, 
answered you. He said in his word that make your request known to him in prayer and supplication. And that is what you have done, Sister Franca. And I believe that he has answered you. Pastor, I am tired. I need a child of my own. I need a child of my own, Pastor. Tears shall be wiped away, and you shall cry with tears of joy. But I am tired, I can't bear it. I can't bear it anymore. I am tired. Sister Franca, I just need a child of my own. Sister Franca, can you please see me in my office? Sister Franca, please come with me to my office. Come and see me in my office. Gently. She can talk. She talks like an adult. Is she really a little girl or she's an adult? I wonder. Oh, mama. Oh, Kenny, you're welcome. Thank you, mama. Welcome. How are you? Good evening. I missed you. How was it today? Fine, mama. You're welcome. Mama, you're tired. Very tired, mama. You're welcome, son. <laughs> Where is Franca? That one. <laughs> she left immediately and went back to the office. She didn't tell me where she was going to. So I don't know. Franca. This girl. Since morning. Sometimes passes <laughs> you happen. Where are you coming from? From her lover's place, come of here. course. Come, come and stand here. Her secret she said, lover. Come and stand here. Ma, you said what? Of course, she's coming back from her secret lover's place. Ah, Mama. My daughter, Mama. You think we don't know? You think we don't know that you have a secret lover? We want to deny it now. Deny it! My friend, start talking. Mama, that's not true. Huh? I'm not seeing anyone. So where are you coming from? I was with Pastor Abiyah. Oh, oh. hey, hey. Did I not say it? You know, go near. I'm going to be You're coming back from your Pastor Guinea place. Look at you. A married woman. And you've been with that your so-called pastor. Your pastor's secret lover. From that time till now. And you're just coming back home. A married woman. Eh, hey, Franca? You should be ashamed of yourself. Even a Mewogi. Shameless thing. I cannot even give my son a child. You cannot give my son. And you're busy gallivanting from one pastor's place to the other for refuge. You should be ashamed of yourself. I could not have done anything with Pastor Abiyah. Mm. He is a true man of God. Oh, I see. He's a true man of God. Yes. Very well then. You will go back to that your man of God. You will not return to this house unless I say otherwise. Mom, support it. Go back to him now. Me, I'm not going. I said you should stand up there. I'm not going anywhere. This is my husband's house. Oh, this is your husband's house. Stand up there, Franca. Okay, don't stand up. Yes, don't stand, stand up. up there. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Go. I'm not going anywhere. Go. Where are you? Let me.
close to this building, you will see what I will do to you. You just let's stay. Honey, you think that would be best thing? Of course. Or do you feel sorry for her? I'm just asking. It's alright. Don't feel it, sir. When my she speaks Protocols are broken Obstacles are shattered when my sister speaks Obstacles are broken Are you familiar with the Bible verse Joshua 5 verse 9? Sometimes the Lord speaking to Joshua He said I will roll away the reproach of Egypt away from you Sister Franca, so God is going to roll away the stone away from your life. Your Believe me. That's why I'm tired. Is I am tired, Pastor. Your future is bright. <gasps> so be on a lookout. Pastor, do you know that? Your best days are My mother he law calls me all manner of names. I'm a defaced barren woman. Pastor, I'm a defaced barren woman. Oh, I'm a not God that gives children. I'm a God. I can't do this anymore. I'm tired. I am tired. You see, Sister Franca, when I understand your speaks. pain. But you should stop speaking ill of yourself. The Bible said in Romans chapter 4, verse 17, it says, I have made thee father of many nations. This is the God that brings dead things to life and call it those things that be not as though they were. Sister Franca, there is power in your tongues. You have to speak life into existence so and you have to speak positive things Impact. about yourself. Your best days are God coming. is going to help you, Sister Franca. Believe me. You're beating and battered. Pastor. Filled up with fear. Honestly. Honestly, if but not because of Pastor time, Femi Lazarus Simon that I normally listen to, I would have showed that woman the other side of me. I would have made her to understand that I'm not weak, but I'm just respecting her. Protocols are broken. The treatment is too much, the humiliation is too much, but so you will not understand. When my sister, we don't understand her pain. If I may ask Sister Franca, you said Femi Lazarus. Which of his sermon did you listen to? I can't really remember, Pastor, but I can't remember when he said, No matter how your mother in law might treat you, do not hate her back. He said, she's showing her love to maybe someday she might stop treating you bad. So maybe someday, maybe someday, how long, Pastor? Maybe someday. You see, Sister Franca, mother tends to have this genuine love for your sons. And this love they cannot compromise Your for anything. And most especially when this love Your is being shifted to their wives. The mother in law tends to not be them. It happens all around the world and even in Africa. So Don't worry, one day she might love you, Your Sister Franca. Just like Femi said. Because when my sister speaks. 
you just mentioned heaven. It, it seems you also listen to his ministration. Yes, I do, Sister Franca. When mercy speaks, you must know. I have heard you. Let's continue hoping. <laughs> Don't worry, Sister Franca. It is well with you. It is well with you. In panic, your best days are coming. Can I pray with you? You're beating and battered. Yes. Filled up with fear. Lord, I thank you for your life, sister. But if you looked out, you see your best days are coming. When mercy speaks, obstacles are broken. Ah! Ross, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm so sorry to bother you. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking for somebody. His name is Ayo. He is kind of uh, tall, but not that tall and dark in complexion. I don't know if you know him. He stays here. Ayo. Yes, Ayo. He stays here. There is nobody like that name here. Please, it's like you don't understand what I'm trying to say. Like Ayo that I'm talking about, he lives here. I went inside to knock on his door, but I did not see him. Ayo. <laughs> yes, Ayo. He's dark in complexion. No, I, I don't think something like that exists. No, he lives here. Like, I, I know what I'm saying. The, the truth is that my brother just rented this place. And it doesn't belong with, with, with packed in. Maybe the person you're, you're referring to has packed out. I don't know. If you don't mind, excuse me. Is Your future is bright. Gonna make sure so be on a look out. Gonna make way to do. Your Please. best days are coming. <laughs> your pain is fading, but your miracle will stay. So be on the look out. <laughs> Your best days are coming Cause when mercy speaks Obstacles are broken Oh Protocols are broken When mercy speaks Franca! When my speaks. Franca! Are you okay? What's, what's wrong? I mean, you're just walking on the road all by yourself. You're even crying. What is the problem? Talk to me. I'm just coming from your house. And I was told you packed out of the house you were staying before. Oh, yes. Um, I actually moved out. I, I rented a better apartment. You know, I want to settle down, so I had to just move to a better place. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but you haven't answered my question. Please talk to me. What is the problem? I mean, you're not supposed to be here. You should be home. Where is your husband? Where is Ken? Did you fight with Ken? So, what happened? I'm, I'm, Talk to me, just tell me. Eh? I did not fight him. So why are you outside? Why are you here? What happened? He drove me out because of that kill. What? You mean Ken sent you out of the house? How can Ken do such a thing that you should leave? No, this is not happening. It cannot happen. I will... Oh no, come. You know what? Let's go back home. After I'm everything I have done for him. Oh, After oh, everything I have done for him. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. You don't have to cry. Everything will be fine, I can assure you. Don't worry. Okay? You said Ken fought you. Fought with you. He... What? Look at what he did to me. Ken gave you this injury. Oh my goodness. What has come over Ken? 
I am tired. I am tired. I can't continue. I am it, just it, tired. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine. I can assure you. Come, hop into the car. Let me take you back home. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Good things still happen for those who believe. So don't you freak out. In panic, your best days are coming You're beaten and battered Filled up with fear But if you looked out, I know you'd see Your best days are coming When mercy speaks Obstacles are broken Protocols are broken When mercy speaks When mercy speaks Protocols are broken Obstacles are shattered When mercy speaks Sometimes bad things do you have to people who are good. So don't you freak out and panic. Your best days are coming. Your beauty is skin deep. Your future is bright. So be on a lookout. Your best days are coming. Your pain is fading. But your miracle will stay. So be on the lookout. Your best days are coming. Cause when mercy speaks Obstacles are broken Oh Bro Are you wrong? Are you just going to stand there or proceed to why you're here? I will. Let her leave us. I will not proceed until she leaves. Let her leave us, bro. I've told you. She's not going anywhere. What? She's my wife. If you cannot say what you want to say in her front, you can as well leave. I'm going away. She's not your wife. Your lawfully wedded wife is outside there. You have to understand this. What's all this? Ken. Did you just ask me? To, did you just leave ask my house? Ken, did you just ask me to leave your house? Did you? Don't worry, honey. Babe, babe, no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. Let me give you guys some space in this class. No. Could be your friend. Honey, please, okay? Let me give you guys some space. I'm acting. He's your friend. Leave. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Leave. So it's because of this thing that you threw your wife away. Why? You threw your wife away because of this thing? How could you? What has come over you? Are you okay? Thing is my thing. Do you have any problem with that? Of course I do. You call this thing. She cannot even give you a child. She will not. She will never give you a child. What has come over you, bro? Are you okay? How can you leave your wife for this thing, this girl? What's your problem? Ayo, yes? I cannot sit back here and watch you talk rubbish about my wife. 
You call that thing your wife? Of course. She's my wife. Bro, she's not your wife, for crying out loud. That thing. She cannot give you Stop children. Stop calling her a thing, because she's not a thing. She's a thing. She cannot give you children, bro. Wake up. Just leave my house. What? Just leave. You're asking me to leave your house? Yes, leave my house. Me, I you leave your house. Wait, Ken, are, are, are you insane? What has come over you? You are the one crazy, not me. You are crazy. You are crazy. How can you ask me to leave your house? Yes, leave my house. It is me, Ayo. Leave your house. I want to fight you. Of course. If we have to fight, let's fight. Let's I want to fight me in my house. Whether you like it or not, you're bringing her back to this house. And that is what you must do. You have to do that. All right. I see you've got interest in her. But it's okay. Go ahead and have her. Because I'm done with a barren woman like her. You lie again. You lie. This is a woman who has suffered so much for you. This is your wife. Oh, I get it. I see you are bewitched. That good for nothing has bewitched you. But I, your friend, I will not let that happen. You're going to bring that woman back to this house. And that is what you have to do. Then how dare you say rubbish about my wife to be? Of course she's a witch. Have you gone crazy? Oh, I even see you call her wife to be and not your wife. She is not your wife. Franca is your wife. Bro, what, what has come over you? What is wrong with you? You have to bring her back, man. What, what's all this? You know what? Ayo, I'm done with this conversation. Come back here, bro. You don't walk out on me. I'm your friend. Why are you walking out on me? Did you just pull me back? Of course I did. Ayo, did you just pull me back? Of course I did. What do you want to do? You want to fight me? What's going on here? Ayo, you came? Yes, Mama, I came. Mama. You need to talk to your son, Ken, here. To stop treating Franca like she's some form of an animal. Moments ago, I saw her walking down the street like she's nobody. I mean, it's not right. It's not proper. I'm aware of it. I know everything. Mama, you are aware? <laughs> you are aware and you did nothing about it. Why? I mean, you're, you're, you're a mother. You're supposed to stop her from, I mean, stop him from throwing her away or stop her from leaving or something. Leaving what? <laughs> Anyway, that one is by the way. Where is she now? She's by my car. I mean, she didn't want to come in here because of what your son might do to her if she comes in. So I had to come in first. It's okay. Go and bring her in. I should? Yes. Mama? Oh, okay. It's okay. Let her come in. She has to come in. She's your wife. I and that I must do. I know. You are beginning to do too much. I know. You are beginning to do too much. Of course, I know. But I'm I your know. I know. I am your friend. I will do what is right. Mama, you come again and do that. Okay. It's okay. Mama. Mama. It's okay. I'm sorry for what happened back there. It's okay. So what did he say? Nothing serious. He was just telling me about his business. <laughs> really? Yes. Come on, babe, don't you believe me? Of course I believe you. It's okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's just that my friend Ayo, he can behave somehow sometimes. It's okay, babe. It's fine. It's okay. Sorry about that. When love leaves, hate will enter. Travel bridge. 
and intoxicate our lives. But if we fight, fight against the odds, love will win. Love will win. Is anyone here? Is anybody here? Please take care of them like they are yours. Is anyone there? Hello? How would anyone leave this beautiful kiss in a place like that? Pastor, I'm as surprised as you are. So what do you intend to do now, Sister Franca? Pastor, I don't know. That's the major reason why I'm here. Because I don't need a situation where by tomorrow that they will be thinking I stole the baby. So I'm here for you to give me advice on what to do. You are right. Well, if you ask me, I would say this is a blessing in disguise. You have been looking for keys and now you have to. Oh, you are right, Pastor. Yeah, that's true. Do as you said. Okay. But before that, take these keys to your husband and I'm sure he will accompany you to the police station. Okay. Pastor, did you just say my husband? Pastor, please leave my husband out of this. Just leave him out of this. Because he will never believe I picked these children. Sister Franca, what do you mean? You mean he's not going to believe even with the written notes? Pastor, he will never believe me. I know what I'm saying. He is my husband. He will not. Unless you want to go with me. So you can convince him. Probably he will want to listen to you. But for me, he will not. So. Okay, if that's the case, I will accompany you to see your husband. Hmm? You will? Yes, I will, I will. Thank you, my God. God Thank bless you. Thank you so much. I, I am really grateful. It is well with you, Sister Franca. Check who is at the door. Come on. Good day, man. The peace of the Lord be upon this house. Who are you and how may I be of help to you? I'm Pastor Abiye from Spring of Life Ministry. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Pastor Abiye? Yes, ma'am. God bless you. Wow. Ah, I've heard so much about you. Thank God. You're welcome. Please come in and sit down. Uh, ma, actually, I didn't come here alone. I came here with Sister Franca. I don't know if I can call her in. Thank you, ma'am. Sister Franca, can you come inside? Okay. 
Please, can you open the door? Okay. Good day, Mama. Please, come and sit down. Come. Come okay. and sit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, is there any problem? Um, Mama, God bless you. Yes, you too. Uh, we are actually here to see what I can. I don't know if he's around. Yes, he's very much around. From I call your husband. Okay, Mama. Please sit. Sit with the children. Yes, but they are surely crying. I think you should just come. Please, Mama. Please, Mama. God bless you, sir. You came to see me? It is good to see you, sir. Yes, I did. I hope there is no problem. No problem, sir. Thank you very much. Sister Franca. Yes, Pastor. Can you tell them what you told me earlier today? Thank you, Pastor. Um, today, when I was going to my usual spot, near the river where I take Solix, I found these two babies and a written no place on them. This is the written note. Mama, you can, oh, can check it. Mama, did you hear that? Yeah, what she said. Yes. Whose children are she going to steal? Help me ask her. Informer, I did not steal any children. Pastor, I told you they will never believe me. Hey! Hey! You better hold your tongue. Hold your tongue! Pastor, it's because you are here. That is why I have not thrown this witch and those children she's carrying out of here. Please, kindly tell her to leave my house before I do something stupid. No, 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 Ken. You're not going to do that, okay? You will not do that. Ken, has he got into that? Pastor, you are the one that I'm respecting. Oh, yeah? Hey, I'll leave. No, 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 no. Leave this house! Please, take this. Take those things no, out of my house. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Mama? Children are a blessing from God. Pastor Pierre is a respected, well-known man of God. She couldn't have come here to tell lies. I think I believe her. Come, 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 bring them. Bring the children. Mama, bring them to me. Mama, she should take these things out of my household. Bring them to me. Sorry, don't cry. What is all this now? You cannot bear me the child. You went and stole somebody's children. They're so lovely. Beautiful children. Beautiful you so, uh, uh, you think I'll believe you? It's okay. Pastor, eh? thank you so much. Thank you for bringing them here. Thank I'm so pleased to carry these children. Mm -hmm. so I'm so privileged to carry them. Huh? They're so cute. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. They're so cute. Would you accept those children? My son, what I did was for your own good. Ken Oma, you and I know that you need children. We've been here praying for you to have a child, and now you have two beautiful babies. I couldn't have allowed them to go to another family. Those children are a blessing to us. You know, go on. Mama, please spare me all that. What if those children are evil? Or maybe children from the river goddess? Kenneth, they are not. Even if they are evil, God will not allow them to hurt us because we did nothing wrong in accepting them. Eh? Hey? Honestly, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't buy this idea. Kenneth, you have to be comfortable with those children. You know that I loved kids. I love them. Hey? And I've been here praying for you to have your own child. And now you have two. I bought two. Look, Mama, you heard where she picked them from. It doesn't matter. Children are children. They are a blessing to, from God. Hmm? Now, I want 
parents to accept those children and treat them as a father would. And just like Pastor B.A. said, those children can provoke God into giving you your own biological child. You know, go on. Um, let me go and assist Franca in bathing them and taking care of them. You know, go. It's okay. It's for our own good. Hey! Mama. Me, I don't know. If anything when love happen, leaves, hate will enter. Trouble bridge and intoxicate our lives. But if we fight, fight against the odds, love will win. If showing them love, love will win. Will bring my own kids. Then no problem. All right. So be it. Oh yeah. So be it. Ken, what is going on here? I mean, what exactly is going on? How do you mean? Do you agree that the children should stay in this house? Mm -hmm. Yes. I am really disappointed in you, Ken. I mean, how could you do such a thing in this civilized era? I mean, who does that? How can you accept children you know nothing about? Not like you adopted them or something. I mean, what if police comes in here right now and arrests everyone because of those children? What am I even saying? Huh, Ken? What if there are even evil children sent to come tear everyone here apart? Ken! I told my mother all that. But she assured me nothing will happen. And that those kids might just be a blessing to our breakthrough. Oh, please spare me all that. Please. I have decided to follow what my mother said. Yes. I will care for those children. I will show them love. I will give them the best life could ever offer. Ken! Ken! I'm sorry. I've made my decision. Yes, come in please. Oh, what please. are you doing here? What are you doing here? Um, Kenny? Yes? Um, please, I came to ask something. What is it? Okay. Um, the children will need some things like um food and clothes. Okay. So how much do you need? Um, I think two hundred thousand will be okay. I will give you four hundred thousand. Really? Yes. Oh my God! Come here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. I love you, and you're the best. You don't need to thank me. I mean. I am going to show them love. I'll show them true love from my heart. Really? I'll take them like my kids. Oh, um, you mm -hmm. sound so sweet. It's okay. Um, what about you follow me to the place where I can get some things? I don't know. Okay, I should drive you to the market. Of course. No problem. Are you, you ready to go? You want to go with me? Of course. Oh, I thought you were discussing with her. Uh, no. Just go and... Get ready so we can go. Alright, baby, please give me up. Mm. <laughs> okay, darling, right. I'll be waiting. Alright. <laughs> oh. Chicken. Did you just do that? Huh? I am asking, did you just do that? Do you have any problem with that? I'm caring for the kids. Don't you have love for kids? Are you not going to be a mother someday? Come on, cheer up. Just, just, just spare me those rubbish. Just spare me those nonsense. <sighs> Look at my baby, my black baby. He's yes. talking his hands. Yes. I'm sure maybe he's hungry. Yeah, I think so. You yeah, can make that formula. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> Finally. Hmm? I now have children in my son's house. Uh, you are children. <laughs> Even though they are not your biological children. Children are children. Yes, eh? so. Special gift from God. Eh? Children are a special gift from God. I'm so happy. <laughs> 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 
It's always weekend fun. Mm. And then, if you go, how are you? Welcome to our home. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm so happy, my Mama. son. Even though they're not your biological children, you see these children, <laughs> they will call up yours. Amen. Amen. You shall carry your own child. Amen. And it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy. This is a blessing. A blessing to our household. Mm. Babe. Mm. Hi, you're so cute. Mm. Okay. Double blessing. Mm. Be careful. Oh, double blessing. Double, double blessing. Double, double blessing. Double, double blessing. Yeah, she's so cute. Tell you. Look at them. Father God, I thank you. Hey, all things work together for good. Yes, so. Even though they are not your biological mm. children. Mm -hmm. Children are still children. <laughs> Our gift, Child. our special gift from God. Mm? <laughs> hey, I'm so happy. I can see you are happy with the kids around you. Of course, Ken. They have given me reason to smile again. Uh, Franca. Yes, Ken. I want to apologize for everything I've done to you. I didn't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Honestly, Ken, I hold nothing against you. I have forgiven you. You know, any man in your shoe will do the same. Especially when the pressure from your mom is high to give her a grandchild. My mother made me do all that I did to you. But I'm glad that the presence of those children changed her perception towards you. How did you know that? I've been watching you guys ever since those children arrived. Please, Franca. I want that love that once existed between us come back again. You see, Ken, I hold nothing against you. You are my husband, and no matter what happened, I will definitely forgive you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. You have a soft heart. Of course, Ken, and you know that. <laughs> I've really missed you. And I missed you too. I missed you so much. I missed you more. Please come. <laughs> Sorry, stop crying. <sighs> Baby, I love these children. Of course, I love them too. This is the kind of kids I want to give birth to. <laughs> sorry, sorry, stop crying. Stop crying. And that reminds me. Okay. What name should we call them? Oh. And maybe we should call them Chisum and Chiamaka. Mm, no, that name is too local. Maybe we should call them David and Devina. David and Devina. Yeah, I think that one is. Okay, that's nice. David, Devina. And Devina. David and Devina. <laughs> I love mm. <laughs> Oh my god. Babe. Yeah. When love leaves, come here. Hate will enter. <laughs> trouble brings. Thank you. And intoxicate our lives. But if <laughs> we fight, we are always we fight against the odds. Love will win. Love will win. He's so fine. He wants to finish the game now. <laughs> She's so happy, yeah. She's happy. Right. She's happy with me. Oh, yeah. You yeah. 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 shouldn't be expecting that person. Of course, I'm not going to be a son's house. 
suddenly transferred all the love and affection to Franca simply because of those bastard children she brought in from only God knows where. Enough! Mama, even you, I will not have you call those children names. Don't try it again. Look at you. I brought you in here so that you can have a child or children for my son. But up to now, you've not even missed your period. Let alone getting pregnant. Are you saying I'm barren as well? Isn't it obvious? You should be ashamed that you're a mother to an impotent man. Excuse me? Is it not obvious that I've been wasting my time all those while with an impotent man who cannot get a woman pregnant? I tell you, you slapped me, mama! Now get out! Get out from this place! How dare you! Look at that! You should have known that you're a little barren fool. I don't blame you. I made a mistake, a grave mistake of bringing you thinking they are going to give a child to my son. Stupid, ungrateful idiot. Nonsense. does it look like I'm doing? Why are you packing your belongings? Go and ask your mother. Babe, you don't look alright. What is going on? Your mother slapped me because of that thing. My mother slapped you? Why would she do that? Look Ken, I think it's high time you're told the whole truth. Truth? What truth? Everything happening in your house was orchestrated by your mother. She paid me so I can come seduce you just to make you leave your wife. Really? I mean, not like I loved you or something. I was only doing it for the money. She paid me, actually. But now that everything has turned out this way, I think I will just have to leave and face my life so you and your wife can live happily again. I don't want to be a homebreaker. Mother. Excuse me. My mom. Why would my mom do a thing like that to me? No, she has to go back to the village so I can enjoy my marriage. My mother has to go back to the village. Who is there? Please call me. Ah, good day, Pastor. Ah, Sister Franca, good to see you. Ah, thank you, Pastor. How are you? I'm good. Please, you may have your seat. Wow, glory. You look so happy today. Pastor, I am so happy. Glory to God. <laughs> so how is your husband and the kids? They are all fine, Pastor. Glory. Pastor, you know, I came to say a very big thank you to you for all the good things you have done in my life. Pastor. The presence of those children brought back my husband's love for me. You don't mean it. <laughs> First, I'm serious. Do you know that my mother Ilona sees me like her own daughter? I told you that there is nothing God cannot do. Pastor, you say it. You see, it reminds me of what the angel said to Sarah 
He say, is there anything hard for these gods to do? Yes, Moti, Pastor. I am happy for you, Sister Franka. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor, that is not all. Pastor, do you know that Ifoma left the house yesterday? You don't mean it. Sound damn serious. She left the house yesterday. I am so glad to see you this way, Sister Franca. Thank you, Pastor. Wow, this is the Lord doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Yes, Pastor. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. How is your mother-in-law? Oh, my mother-in-law. She is fine. She is planning on leaving, I think, this week. Because she says she has something to catch up with. So I think the thing might be important. But she is okay. Glory to God. Thank you, Pastor. You see, while I was praying the other day, the Lord revealed to me clearly. And He said, through these kids, God is going to bless you beyond your own imagination. Amen. And it starts from now, Sister Franca. Ah, thank you, Jesus. May the Lord be with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you have done for me. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Pastor, I can't thank you enough. Thank, Thank you so Thank God. Can we pray together, Sister? Uh, of course, Pastor. And intoxicate our lives. But if we fight, fight against the odds, love will win. I am so happy for you and your family. I'm glad that your family is back again. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Man, I, I am I am really, really excited that Jezebel has left your home after all. I mean, I cannot believe that after everything, you guys are really, really bad. Happy for you. It's a lost doing. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I'm really happy. Uh, Ayo, please. <laughs> enough of me. Enough of my stories. <laughs> hey. Tell me about that girl you mentioned. Oh, the one I said I was going to get married to. Yes. Oh my goodness, you can't wait more. See, you will not believe that every quality I want in a woman, she has it. Wow. As a matter of fact, I am going to marry her and make her the mother of my born children. That's good. As a matter of fact, I wanted to bring her here. Oh, in her now, so that we can boys so that she had one or two to do. That's why. But I promise you that I'm going to bring that specially to you, to your house, so you, you can see to, that. You need to, you need to. Uh, Man, if you see this girl, the girl is so bucky. <laughs> <laughs> you need to see the backside. Everything is. I know the kind of things you like. Of course. <laughs> what I know your spec. <laughs> ah, nice one, nice uh, one. Please, I, I need to meet her. Okay, okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, now nah, I'll bring her for you to see, like I said. No problem. Um, what you have to do now is just to tell me when it will be convenient for you. This weekend, I'm free this weekend. This weekend? Of course. You're going to be at home? Of course. That's it. <laughs> She's coming. All right. I, I will make sure I bring her to the house. So that my wife can as well see her. Yes, of <laughs> course. <laughs> Man, this girl is, is, is she, she's just a blessing to my life. I mean, when I saw her, saw the way she was looking, her character, everything, I said, this is a girl I, I must get married to. Nice. No other one. Just her. Nice, nice. If you see the back side, I know your spec. She has the kind of things you like. Thank man. God you know. Are you telling me? <laughs> the package is going to be here. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. Don't nice worry, you'll see her this weekend. Nice one. One. I like that. Yeah. You should be happy for me. I'm man. happy for you, man. <laughs> let's cheers. Let's cheers. Let's good cheers. life, family, and everything good. Cheers. 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 Mm. Um, I think I need to give you more drinks. Uh, Bagel, sir. Please get more drinks. Get more drinks. If at this time bottle, bottle, like two, two bottles each. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Just the order. The order. The order. Enjoy the body. So, Pastor, that is exactly what happened. My God. That's so unbelievable. Um, what is that your name again? My name is Rosemary Njoko. Okay, Mary. I have heard what you said. Thank you so much, Pastor. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Obim. Yes, honey. My joy giver. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> now I think I can get you a house help to be helping you with the house chairs. No, I'm not complaining. I'm okay. Or am I complaining? You're not complaining, but I am complaining. Hmm? My love, <laughs> let me get you a house help. I don't think I need it. Ah, Mama is the one calling. Oh. Hello, Mama. Good evening. Mama, we are fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the children are fine too. Mama, there is good news. Mm. My wife went for scan today and the doctor confirmed that she's carrying twins. <laughs> yes, Mama, yes. <laughs> hey, and so, Mama, you have to start preparing for Omogwa. Hey, hey, Madonna. <laughs> okay, Mama, no problem. All right. Bye-bye, Ma. Mama. I know she's very happy. Ah, very happy. If you hear her scream, then. Hey. <laughs> Baby, I'm just happy. Like, I'm so overwhelmed. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, are you expecting anyone? No, I'm not. But somebody's knocking at the door. Who could that be? Okay, I'm coming. Let me check. Hey, babe, no, don't do that. Oh. Don't do that. Let me check who the person is. Okay, honey. You have to stop stressing my kids. <laughs> Don't stress them. I'm not. Mm. Ah, Pastor. Ah, please hold it. Thank oh. you, Brother Ken. Pastor, you're welcome. You're welcome, Pastor. Thank you, Brother Ken. Please ah. make yourself comfortable. God bless. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Make you. yourself comfortable. Thank you very much for that. Yes. So how are you doing? I'm fine. I can see, I can see. <laughs> you see, I knew a day like this would come. But I never knew it would be this soon. Beside me here is Sister Rosemary. And she's actually the biological mother of the twins your wife saw by the river. What? Are you serious? Yes. Yes, I'm actually their biological mother. My story indeed is a sad one. My husband left me with the children and ran away because things were really difficult for us. So I've been the only one taking care of the children until. Beside the river crying. Should I go and ask her? No. She may not want to talk to me. Protocols are broken. When mercy speaks. When mercy speaks. God, even if it's just one child. I need one child. Obstacles are shattered. Good. 
So don't you freak out and panic. Your best days are coming. Your beauty is skin deep. Your future is bright. So be on a lookout. Your best days are coming. Look at your me, I'm so much alone. Look at me, but I'm your tired. Was I am tired. Look at so me. So be on the lookout. Look at me. Your best Look days are coming. When I heard her scream, I felt her pains. I've seen her more than twice in that spot. Protocols are broken. When mercy speaks. When mercy speaks. Protocols are broken. Obstacles are shattered. When mercy speaks. And because I was finding it really difficult taking care of the children, so I decided she should have them. At least she will love and take care of them like a mother would do to their children. I did what I did because I felt I could wipe her tears letting her have the children because I knew she needed them more than I do. That is my story. <sighs> Thank you, Sister Rosemary. Indeed, you have used your children to wipe away my tears. My home that was at the verge of collapsing came back to me. A lot of people mocked me. Even my mother-in-law called me all sorts of names. But thank God, your children have brought so much happiness to my home. I am indeed grateful. <sighs> and not only that, I'm expecting my own set of twins. The doctor confirmed that. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Our God does a lie. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Pastor. And Sister Rosemary, I don't know, do you want your keys? I can go in and break them. No, you can have them. I only came to know how they are doing because I miss them so much. Please take care of them for me. Oh my god. I'm really short of words. I, I I cannot believe that good people still exist in this world. Thank you very much, Rosemary. You're welcome, sir. Wow. Wow. Thank you wow. so much. And um, please, you can always come to see them anytime you like. Our sure. family is now your family. Of course. And I will train those children to any level of their education. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> we should be the one thanking you. And one more thing. I will make a transfer of 3 million naira for you to start any business of your choice. No. 
This is too much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You don't have to do that. You deserve more than this. Thank you so much. Also, please help me. Three million. Just put your account number. So and it's just a case of lies. But if we fight. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love will Love will Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Fight against the odds, love would win. Love would win. And if we fight, fight against the odds, love would win. Love would win. When love goes, hate will follow. Trouble comes to complicate our lives But if we fight on Fight against the urge Love would win